The forest is very dark. The lighter will not be enough. Better to use the gas lamp. I love the night, but this night scares me. In the dark, I can feel all the harm I've caused. It's getting closer with each step. I feel it brushing up against me like a cold wind. I hurt Martha. The closer I get to the lake, the more certain I am of this. How could it not be? I killed her to steal the love that everyone felt for her but didn't feel for me. How could I have done such a thing? German soldiers. Daddy ordered patrols to be carried out near the house, but how could they have lost a helmet? God only knows. Damn lamp! Luckily I still have my lighter with me. Cameras are somewhere around here. Two cameras left.
shred of fabric here in the woods. How strange. Let's take a photo of one more camera to collect. How could it have ended up here? It looks familiar. got them all. These films are going to help me understand what happened. Now I should rush home to develop them.
another nightmare. She entered my dreams once more. Maybe she wants to talk to me. What am I saying? Fairy tales coming true. Yet I feel... No, no, these are the thoughts of a crazy person, and I'm not crazy. Oh, damn it, what's all this blood? I'm not due yet, and there's a lot more than usual. What's happening to me? Am I going to be joining Martha sooner than I thought? I have to wash up and do what needs to be done. If I'm sick, I have little time. The truth awaits me. It must be hidden within those rolls. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. What am I thinking? I would stain my clothes with blood. better. But I still don't understand all of that blood. That's never happened to me before. But I'm not going to tell my doctor, otherwise he'll make me stay in bed and rest. This dress is only for special occasions. It's very rude, but I could pick up the phone and listen to their conversation. How are you doing today, Rennie? I'm worried, Father. Very worried. We found more partisan tracks in the woods, right next to the house. That Lapo. I suspect he may be involved in the death of- No, please don't say that. It's, it's not possible. I know the boy and I don't- Father. Anything is possible in these dark times. Anything. That boy didn't even come to say goodbye to Julia. Didn't they love each other dearly? He must be terribly scared, and Julia always used to say that. Yeah, sure, she used to say they were just friends, but you know too, right? Friends are not supposed to do such things, Father. Or are they? But anyway, you're defending them both. You, my husband, and even the nanny who, deep down, is a good woman. The nanny. I believe the nanny is the one who hurt Julia. With her evil passion for those cards, they are cursed things. I hope you made them disappear. Of course. I keep them safe in my room. Anyway, you must forgive me, Father. I have to go. They've come to pick me up. Have a good day. You too. Lapo's involved in Martha's death. My mother is losing her mind again. How could anyone even imagine such nonsense? And Don Attilio, he is a great friend, but what a weird view. Those cards are just a game, but most importantly, they're mine. Why on earth did they take them from me? For the raping being committed by invading troops. New ordinance for the safety of citizens. From this moment on, it is forbidden for anyone to leave their homes and walk the streets of San Cassiano. All windows, including cellars, house entrances, and doorways, must remain closed night and day. The population are advised to stay in their cellars, or where these do not exist, judges... Dear Mother, this is hard, but I have something to tell you. I found out that Julia is pregnant. Go to the lake tomorrow morning at seven and watch her as she bathes. You'll see that her tummy is growing. Martha. What? 
I'm not pregnant. Why is everything becoming even more confusing? I'm searching for an explanation, but instead I'm left with more questions. Here are my cards. Nanny and I always used to play with them. She would predict my future and I pretended to predict hers. The future was always good for everyone. Maybe when she read them, she saw my true future which she hid from me. Or more likely, these cards are actually just a stupid game to reassure and deceive oneself with. But deceiving oneself is sometimes necessary. How can we live happily otherwise? Perverton again. I feel like these pills do nothing other than agitate her. Romola, 15th of July, 1944. Dear Mrs. Erene, I'm writing to let you know that all is well here at the villa. Thank you for being so considerate and caring. I apologize for the simplicity of the housing you were forced to live in. I also locked the room where the little one used to stay as requested. I've left you the key. It is the one with the pink key ring. Try to stay safe. Best regards, Nanny. Why on earth did Mummy have that door locked? It was my room. What is she trying to hide? There are more and more weapons around, and everyone is scared after what happened. This is Mummy's jewellery. She wears them every day. Even though Daddy says it's impractical and dangerous to show signs of wealth these days. As usual, she doesn't want to listen to reason, and ends up arguing with Daddy until he goes to play war, as she says. She leaves them everywhere. I think she's having too many and too often. Nets for catching butterflies, poor creatures. I had so much fun with them. of a relationship. It's very clear, but my plans will be successful. I only need to know what these plans are. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces 1. Whoever is in possession of weapons or explosives not reported to the German headquarters will be shot. 2. Whoever harbours bandits and or protects them and provides them with clothing and or weapons will be shot. 3. Whoever is aware of the existence of any rebel groups or even lone rebels without reporting them will be shot. The superior commander of the German Federal Armed Forces announces 1. Whoever is in possession Italian workers in Germany The following rules are in place for workers who voluntarily work in Germany. A commitment of a maximum period of one year before returning to Italy. 1. War rages on the Eastern Front an attack launched by the Soviets after hours of cannonade. The fight on this front has been going on for a long time. 
fighting in Normandy, victorious Germanic counterattack on the road from Perriers to Carentan. Pont Heber reconquered north of saint Lô. many US losses caused by the flying bomb action. I have to be careful and keep the volume down as I listen. I must go unnoticed. I am meant to be deaf after all. Ready? Julia? You ready? Sure, Daddy. I'm good to start. I've already started recording. Oh, no, my voice will sound awful. No way, come on. Didn't you want to study singing anyway? No, 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 I was young and stupid when I said that. Okay. Ready? Go. Oh, how nice. It's the rehearsal for last week's concert. I never heard the recording. But I was right, my voice is awful. It cannot be called singing. Anyway, it's time I develop these film roles. I can't wait any longer. I wish I could just stop time. These images could change everything. I cannot bear the fact that I may have hurt Martha. I would rather die. Damn my head and these memory lapses. It's such a pain not remembering. It's like getting lost inside yourself. Here I was running toward the pier, just as I remember.
I'm carrying Martha to shore. I'm trying to save her. My memories, although fuzzy, do match reality. I feel a little better. Now I can find out who really hurt Martha. Maybe I should meet with the White Lady. She might be able to tell me something. Is this crazy talk? Yes, definitely. But what's normal about any of this? Maybe you have to be a little crazy to get anything done. This fabric is not new to me, yet I do not think I have ever seen it in the house. A tripod is necessary to take photos with long exposures. I have found what I need to take in for red photos. What is this? A joke? Maybe someone wrote on the film? Also, what does that even mean? Light, like divine light? Something to do with religion, maybe?
Los, schnappen wir uns die just doing it's dangerous i know but i want to follow them and see what's happening Chief was the symbol of what you believed in. At least that is left of you. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself. Du hast ein Mädchen erschossen, du Idiot! Scheiße, Scheiße, Scheiße! Was machen wir jetzt? Sieh mal, was sie um ihren Hals hat. Sie ist eine von ihnen. Es musste getan werden. Sie ist die Tochter von General Erich K., du verdammter Trottel! Sie war die Freundin von diesem armen Kerl. Oh, verdammt, jetzt sind wir wirklich am Arsch! Scheiße, lass uns abhauen! Aber, aber sie lebt noch! Sie liegt im Sterben! Siehst du, wo du sie getroffen hast? Sie ist bestimmt schon tot. Wir müssen jetzt abhauen, sonst sind wir auch bald tot. I'm dying, I thought. But strangely enough, I wasn't afraid. In fact, I was almost relieved. When I returned, I found myself once again in the midst of a bad dream. One whose meaning I did not understand at the time. Thank you. 
Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No. Impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, that blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damn smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. so bad. I can hardly breathe.
I would like to spend a moment with my sister, just me and her alone, before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, Doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric, but she will be all right. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died, but thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this. It's too much. So much death and suffering. Nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Maybe too much. There's my bag. Thank God. Let's hope Lapo's letter is in there. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone, and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly I can't run to you. Even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number, 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the White Lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity.
once again, General K's family has come under fire. Now it is the life of her sister, Martha, that is in danger. The blow from the gun shot in her back. It is only by the grace of God that the girl is alive. The anti-fascist that be the only reason behind the cowardly act. The New Zealand troops are advancing slowly. After the battle... There is darkness that brings uncertainty, but there will be a guide, something that can teach me something. There's no shortage of paintings in our house. Mum is passionate about painting. Twenty-five ISO film. When the sun is high in the sky, it's perfect. When it's not too sunny outside, the 200 ISO film works well. General Edith K. New rules on curfew and women's behavior. German command of S. Vincenzo Atori. Telephone number 1185. The radio needs to be kept on at all times these days. It can save your life knowing things on time, especially before they happen. Attempted murder in La Romola, after the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister, is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl, found by the German troops, is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. The German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. I should pick up the phone but remain silent. If I let the caller speak first, I'll find out who it is. Hello? Ma'am? Can you hear me? Is there somebody there? Mr. Eric? It's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh, my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, nanny, you're not dreaming. 
It's really me. It's Julia. Oh, my God. Julia. My little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I... I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? I told Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the White Lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool. Quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead, poor Nanny. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Martha was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. Here's the bicycle pump. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods, but there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. 2. A part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. 3. I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. 4. To communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Mm -hmm.